negativity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and I won What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ2 Swoosh Chains and hopefully there's not too much background noise going on, listen the weather is finally nice enough where I can have my windows open. There's a breeze coming through. I just want to appreciate that. So hopefully it doesn't mess up anything in relation to the video. But thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Uh, if you are already subscribed to Swoosh Crew, go ahead and make sure you engage in the comment section. Love to hear your thoughts on different things. Um, and then if you're brand new, I have no idea what video brought you here or what search maybe you entered on YouTube. But thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Also, drop a like on the video. It certainly does help all of the creators on this platform. Uh, this video today, it's nothing special or crazy. I just want to show you guys some new pickups that I got in uh, just from some of my favorite brands. Uh, I think one is pretty much already sold. One is sold out for sure. And then another one is close to being sold out. Now, when you're watching this, I think it's a Sunday, which means this will be like my first Sunday, really not on schedule. I am so excited to be doing whatever it is that I want to do on this day. I'm not even sure what I'm doing necessarily, but just know I'm not working and that's all that matters. Well, I'm not working for someone else. If I'm working and creating content or curating something, it's, it's for me. And that just hits a little bit differently. Not to mention, I'm probably trying to just go actually hang out with friends that I haven't seen in forever because I've been really social distanced from everybody. Uh, but thank you for stopping by. So let's just go over some of the items that I got in. Um, you guys will be able to see some of the B-roll of the different outfits. So the main item is actually a shirt from Valiant Pursuit. Now, if you have no idea what that brand is, um, it's it was started by the Soulmates, uh, Marcus and Kiana. So they do have a YouTube channel on here. Uh, I always call him the king of B-roll because he has amazing cinematography and then he takes great shots as well. So they dropped another Compete shirt. Now you guys know I have three of those shirts already in white, black, and then olive. And then he decided to drop a cream and maroon. And guys, just, just let, let me show you, let me show you this shirt. All right, so here is the cream shirt. It's just, once again, the quality is always on point with their shirts, but it is a cream shirt and it has maroon compete right there. So if you know anything about that, then you have to know, you have to know. What do you think I'm gonna pair it with? That's right, the actual Maroon 6. So the Maroon 6, I don't think it's enough love. Certainly it sat on shelves for forever, made it to some outlets, I even think. And I was one of those people that slept on it at first, but thank goodness to eBay, I was able to go back and pick it up over the last few years. Absolutely love it. I like the fact that it's not a true right, true white color. It really is. It was kind of like the off-white or the sale before that became a really big thing. So you have that. Uh, that shoe or that Jordan 6 paired with the Valiant Pursuit Compete shirt. And then also the maroon beanie. Now here's the thing, with my hair in twist, first off, it's hella convenient for the whole summer and uh, hot weather, but it's not really conducive to me rocking hats. So for the aesthetic, you guys get to see uh, the Nike sportswear beanie that I picked up from Champs a while back, but it's not as if I can actually rock it right now. Nor I don't know if I'd want to, even with it being super nice out. Like, it, it, it still would be a little warm. But I decided to pair that together. Um, and then just the go-to uh, cargos that I, I oh, well, not really cargos, I guess. Maybe just khaki jogger pants that are from Hollister. And then for the second outfit, we broke out the Levi Jordan 4 and Black. You guys know I did a sale lace swap on those. If you follow me on Instagram, you were already able to see that. And then uh, the actual, so the joggers, I believe, are Nike Heritage Sportswear joggers. They're women's. I got them a few years back, probably on eBay or Dick Sporting Goods. Um, and then just the denim jacket and also, or yeah, I think the denim jacket. I don't know. I'm trying to get my, out. I'm trying not to get my outfits mixed up here. Uh, but I know for a fact the fours, okay. And then those joggers. And then the last outfit actually does have to do with the brand now. Um, I actually started following this trainer years ago and not only did she start her own brand she's opened her own gym so she has a lot going on and i was teasing her the other day because you know trying to manage a drop as big as the size of this because she had joggers she had sports bras she had shorts she had t-shirts she had hats 
Um, she was just going nonstop, making sure everything was together and in order like a business owner does. She said, man, I haven't worked out in 10 days. It was like 10 days to two weeks straight. And she's like, I'm feeling weak. While she's repping out 135 pounds on the bench press, I'm like, Evan, really? I'm just blessed I don't I didn't lose my pull-up strength. I still I couldn't wrap out 135 if my life depended on it. Um, but one of the pants or one of the items dropped, they are called Evo pants, okay? They are called Evo pants. So it's made with a super stretchy material. Now all of her clothes are really made for that athletic female and definitely one that plays more up to like the tomboy swagger because we don't we want to be and tight fitting denim, you know, jeggings from time to time. But sometimes you just want that athleisure comfy look, but you don't want something hanging off of you all the time. I'm a big fan of the baggy aesthetic, but you don't want that always. So these were meant to kind of bridge the gap. So this is considered a storm colorway, which I guess you could think of as a really dark charcoal gray. So you can see the stretch and the elasticity in the pants themselves. And I didn't even know this until I started taking pictures, but um, yeah, this little piping right here for the leg or the zipper is, is actually 3M. And then the logo for Alpha Ford, it's actually 3M as well. So love, love, love these pants. Now, here's the thing I'm learning. Um, if I'm trying to order in a women's cut, I need to stop trying to order small as if I want just a little bit more room. It's just not working for me. Uh, the waist always fits perfectly. It's actually sometimes a little bit too big, but not the case with the legs. We learned that with the minimal debacle I had. So I do have other minimal pants on the way. Um, I'm not going to try to return these for one. They're all sold out. So Alpha Ford is really kind of like Richie Lee. Uh, they don't have, have items that sit. They sell out instantly like that. And that's exactly what happened. I was actually uh, working at the time when the drop happened and I was just too slow to be able to get to my phone and get the medium. So I ended up going with the small, but I'm going to keep it for just a more slim look. Um, sl yeah, more of a slim down look outside of maybe them being baggy, but another awesome pair of pants to add to my arsenal of pants that continues to grow and grow. So there's a few of my pickups guys. And just for you guys to see the outfits, uh, if I do the whole try on look, uh, look book, I'll do that in a different video. All right. Thanks for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.